Welcome my friends, Seven Gray here. I hope all of you are having a fabulous day. I'm just outside of Lake Havasu right now, a new location, um, parked just slightly north and west of Lake Havasu. I can overlook the city and the airport right now, a little airplanes going overhead. Beautiful location with fantastic cell phone reception and Wi-Fi, which I've not had the last four days while I was mounting my solar panels, which you can see up here just barely on the top of the step van in the background. It's been a little while since I've gone for morning walks and I really am sort of missing that now. So I've decided to go back to my walk routine, but now I'm carrying a new larger camera. I don't know how this is gonna work. May have to switch arms a lot. Over here in the distance, you can see Lake Havasu and a nice little hillside perch here. Beautiful sunsets overlooking the lights of the city. It was spectacular last night. Looks like this guy over here has one of those ultralights, a little fan-powered go-kart that has a sort of a plane-type parachute for a wing. It's a little trailer, one of those set up. I think he's launching off this hill here. Hopefully I'll get to see him fly today. Have a bit of wind today. This be a little bit of a challenge. See how my little dead cat wind muff muffler thingamajigger, see how that's working because old camera, there's absolutely no way I could do this kind of wind. And that's the step in off in the distance over there. I didn't come on my walk looking for this, but I just found a new spot which may be much flatter, much better for parking. I think I'm gonna go back to my rig and uh, move it over here. There's this nice little spot right here. It's a flat area. And I think it's flatter and better than where I'm at. Right now I have a tilt to my driver's side, which is not good because then my head is downhill, which is not fun way to sleep. Uh, maybe that's why sometimes I wake up with a headache is because I'm sleeping with my head downhill. I don't know. Well, let me know what you think about that. Do you have any experience, any advice for that? And I'm back at the step van. I think I'm gonna move over to that new spot. I keep having a few delays in getting the wiring done for my solar setup. Um, I'm not sure what it is, it's just I get paralyzed when I don't know the answer to a question and I Google it and Google it and I can't find the solution. I love this extension ladder by the way. Some of the areas where I'm getting stuck are with this weird thing here. It's a little box that goes on top of the step van or on top of your RV and it comes with these plastic things that are called glands of all names. Um, and so I'm not sure how the glands work. I guess they're supposed to clamp down somehow on the cable. I can't find any instructions on Google or on YouTube on how to use these can't find anything on how to install this white plastic box on the top. There's no instructions inside of the box here, nothing on how to mount this. There's no holes, so that leads me to believe that you're supposed to use an adhesive. Which adhesive? I don't know. Um, can I use the Dicor lap sealant? What if you're mounting this on the side? I mean, I'm mounting it on the roof, but still. And then when you drew your penetration hole into the roof, do you cut it rectangular like this? Um, so you get a giant hole here, or do you do a round hole? Do you put a grommet in there for the uh, wires to go through so they don't get cut up as they're going through the angle? Um, these are the questions that I have. The solar panels have wires attached to them that are maybe two feet long. And on the ends of these wires, there's these black clips very similar to this and those wires, where do they go? Do they plug into this? It doesn't look like they plug into this. Um, they won't fit through these holes. Um, I tried, you know, putting these through here and they simply won't go. So what do I do with these? Do the wires on the solar panels go through this and into the roof and then you connect it? Do I have to cut those wires um, from the solar panels? to get them through here? 
or do I run wires from inside the van up to the solar panels through here that have been cut and then clip those with some of these connectors to the existing wires I don't know so I've been stuck for like three days trying to figure out the answers to these questions it's just paralyzing and overwhelming and I look at video after video after video four five six hours of research and I can't find answers to any of these questions um, I feel like I've exhausted um, my resources calling on Giuseppe and Scott for help. It's just constant, constant questions. So I'm trying to do this on my own. So I've been stuck for three days because I'm doing this on my own and trying not to pester these guys with these questions. So today I decided instead of contacting them yet again, I'm just going to try to do it. I don't know what's going to happen. I'm probably going to screw it up. I've got to just reconcile that that's the way things are and that I may have big holes, I may have wires that are cut, it may cost me hundreds of dollars or thousands of dollars because I don't know what I'm doing and it's, it's frustrating to me. So anyway, I've decided to push forward so today's project is just trying to overcome this fear, this paralysis that I have that I'm going to do something wrong and fry my whole system. Well, I've made my first cut to the uh, cables. These are eight gauge uh, UV resistant cable. Really, really stiff stuff. I don't really like working with it. It's really difficult. It doesn't flex or bend very easily. I'm gonna go mark a hole and uh, climb up on the roof and start cutting holes. I really don't know what I'm doing here. This just terrifies me. I just gotta do it. I've drawn some lines with a marker on my roof trying to line up where I think things should go. So here I've got the outline for this thing here and then I've got a hole, a circular hole. I'm going to put this in here and then try to run the cables through that. So I don't know how that's going to work. I guess we'll just try it. Otherwise I'll just have a hole in my roof. I'll have to figure out how to patch it later. And now I have a new hole drilled in my roof. This type of stuff just really sort of scares me, I guess. It uh, freaks me out. I worry that I'm you know, going to do something wrong and damage something and everything's going to blow up. So anyway, this is what I've got. Now I've got to feed the cables down in here, figure out how all this stuff goes together. All right, I have everything fed through here. I marked everything positive and negative, and I've got these little guys on the end, marked positive and negative, these little caps, and then the back sides here, on this side here, and those are marked, I don't know, I'm gonna feed it through and then try to figure out how to get these connected here. I, I don't know. Well, it appears I'm stuck again. I fed all the cables through, but now I can't figure out how to connect this part through here. The nut part doesn't go all the way through to this so that there's, there's no threads. The threads are caught on this side and the threads won't fit through this area here. That's all that'll fit through, so don't know what to do about that. It uh, clearly won't fit. I don't know, maybe I've got it on backwards. I don't think so. I think these nuts have to go on the outside edge. But I just don't know. That's uh, a conundrum. Ah, I see. Goes on the other side. Well, now I've got to unthread all of this back out and redo the entire thing with this nut on the outside instead of the inside. Darn it. Okay, I think I got it this time. Everything's fed correctly, I hope. I've got the positive wire marked. So I've just got to feed it down again through the hole. It's quite a pain, but... Hopefully it'll go smoother this time. I'm still not exactly sure how to protect these connectors because they're just going to be raw and sitting out here on the roof. I think that they would be exposed and 
to the elements and not water tight. I think there should be some sort of sleeve or protector around these, but I don't see anything in any install instructions, any videos, nothing on YouTube, nothing uh, with installation instructions. I simply don't know. That's a good question. All right, I'm making some progress. I've got uh, the wires going through the glands. I've got a marked positive negative. Uh, I've got everything all set and up, tightened. And I think I'm ready for butyl tape and somehow to attach this box. I think I'm gonna use sheet metal screws and go into the surface here um, and then put lap sealant on it, uh, around it. So, I don't know. Gotta clean the surface first. I'm gonna just use some glass cleaner because it'll evaporate easily before I put down the butyl tape. Well, I have it mounted now. I think I've finished up everything up here on the roof. I'm gonna leave these disconnected for now until I figure out if there's some way that they have to be water sealed because I simply don't know and it just seems a little scary to leave these bare. Maybe they're water sealed in and of themselves in the way they're built. I don't know, I may have to uh, do some more research online. I don't even know what these connectors are called. Um, anyway, I'm gonna go start working inside. I think this is uh, all done now. I've got uh, four sheet metal screws, butyl tape around it. I'm gonna put lap sealant on it later but for now this is what i've got i traded a couple of emails with scott down in san diego he helped me with most of my electric install i sent him some photos sent him some questions he was fantastic in his responses to me he gave me step-by-step -step guidance on which items to wire up first and a few safety precautions and he answered some of my specific questions about the uh, connectors up on the roof. He said those are weatherproof, waterproof, all that kind of stuff, so I don't have to worry about those. Um, basically, I'm on the right track right now, just a few last steps in the wiring. He recommended covering the panels with some blankets before wiring everything up so there's no active power coming through, but there's a really stiff breeze coming through here today, probably 15, 20 miles an hour, so that's not really possible. So what I'm gonna do is leave them disconnected up there and I'm going to wait until evening time, dusk, just about sunset, to do the last of the wiring. That way there'll be just a minimal amount of power coming in so that I'm able to see some numbers coming in to the system and hopefully not fry anything if I have something set up incorrectly. But I feel pretty confident that I know where all the wires go. It seems pretty clear. I don't think I'll have any crossed wires. It's just a matter of getting them in the right order. Well, it's about 5.30, trying to finish up my wiring for today so that I can activate the solar panels. Um, I've got a little bit of progress. Um, what I've done so far is get the whiz-bang wired up to the midnight solar controller and the temperature monitor. So those are two good things. Over here is the blue cable that goes down to a temperature monitor. I've uh, attached that with sticky right here between the two batteries so that I think it's right in the middle of the battery between the two, so that should be maximum temperature. I think that's pretty good. Over here is the shunt with the Whizbang Junior, and so I've attached that, ran a wire through there. I had to drill a hole and not damage the battery, so that was the challenge. And then over here, then over here it comes out the whiz bang, goes up here and attaches into auxiliary two. And then the temperature cable goes over here and attaches right there. It's a race, I'm cutting cable, I'm putting on eye hooks, I've got shrink wrap going, I'm getting really, really close. Um, sunset is in about 30 minutes. I don't know if I'm gonna make it before sunset, but I'm gonna try. Well, it is the end of the day. The sun is setting in about 10 minutes, and I did not make it. I ran into two very, very small, literally small roadblocks on finishing this project. It's going to have to wait till tomorrow because I've got to go into the hardware store. So I'll try again tomorrow evening, I guess. Um, unless there's no wind, then I can do the blanket trick and put the blankets over the solar panels and try to get things wired up there. So uh, the roadblocks. 
I forgot to put shrink wrap on this little guy here. So I've got to clip it off, put a new one on, and shrink wrap it because the shrink wraps that I have won't fit over the edge of this ring. And I'm short one ring. I miscounted because there's an extra fuse box on the positive between the solar charge controller and the bus bar. So this is going to the bus bar and then I've got to go from the bus bar into the solar charge controller but I need one more ring like this and I've got to cut this one so I actually need two rings and to get this uh, done correct with the shrink wrap. So it's got to wait till tomorrow. Get those two little pieces and I should be good to go. Cross my fingers everything works. That's all I have for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. I am so, so close. I can taste it on getting my solar setup running with power in my rig. But it's not quite there. Thank you for watching. Savor the moment. See you next episode.